I'm going blind, Timmy. not deaf. Good morning. Stanton residence. Mr. James Stanton, please. Who shall I say is calling? He doesn't know me. My name is Katrina. I'm his niece. I'm sorry. You have a wrong number. Mr. Stanton does not have a niece. Mr. James Stanton has a brother, Harold Stanton. Yes. Harold Stanton is my father. Ho hold the line, madam. Good morning, Miss Stanton, is it? Yes. I think perhaps we should meet. You have the address? Yes, I do. Shall we say at four, then? At four. Everything seems to indicate he's my father. It looks that way, doesn't it? You say they're never married? No. Seems nobody much marries anymore. I have a daughter of my own. She lives with a chap. I don't like it, but what can you do? Nothing, I suppose. So where? Where is he, Mr. Stanton? We grew up together, Helen and I, in this house. He was my elder brother. I loved him dearly. But if he were to knock on that door now, I'd turn him away without a moment's pause. That's not idle talk. Many years ago, I did just that. I don't know what happened then, but... as you say, it was many years ago. Some things never fade. He broke the old man's heart. Our father was a soldier. But more than that, he believed the rank brought with it not only privilege, but responsibility. In his eyes, hell was a coward. And in yours? In mine, long ago, he ceased to be a member of this family. That is why I could turn him away as you would a stranger. I don't understand all that. All I know is I want to meet him. Which one is he? Which one's my father? He's gone, young lady. Hell Stanton no longer exists. No one by that name ever lived in this house. I've come all this way and you're not going to tell me where he is? If you'll excuse me, there's nothing to be gained by this. I'll have Fleming show you out. You've been with the family a long time? Uh, yes. You knew my father? I knew Mr. Howe. I came to see Mr. Stanton because I needed some help. I know what you want, miss. Where is he, Mr. Fleming? I don't know. And if I did, I couldn't tell you. This house has been my home. I understand, but I do think I have some right to know. Whatever I... you may think, miss, no one will thank you for dragging this up. Not me, not Mr. James. Least of all the man you claim is your father. I didn't come here to drag anything up. I came here because it's the only place I could start, that's all. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he told you it's none of your business, didn't he? Yes. So, there's an end of it. I'll leave you my address in Australia. You never know, something might turn up. Or better still, somebody might change their mind. When do you leave, miss? As soon as possible. I've only got one more thing I have to do. And what is that? See a doll's house. Good afternoon, how can I help? I'd like to change my booking, please. To when? Tomorrow, if possible. Not at Easter, I'm afraid. The flights are all full. The next time I can do is the 29th of March. Eight days? OK. I've changed your booking to the 29th and waitlisted you for anything earlier. Please keep checking, you might be lucky. 
I think maybe she is. I'm canceling London to Sydney, two days' time. I couldn't help overhearing, and I hope you don't mind. Their own economy, it's okay? No, I don't mind. I wonder if between us we can help this young lady. We don't usually operate that way, but there is a system, and the cancellations usually go to people on the top of the list. Systems. The trouble with systems is they're so unyielding. I bet this one doesn't even know it's Easter. Come on, Gail. Make her holiday. If you promise not to tell a soul, it's my job. Oh. I'm Arky. Arky Regan. Katrina Stanton. <clears throat> Katrina? It's nice. So where are you staying? The Haygate. I know it. I had a drink there once. I'm still paying it off. Can I walk you? You don't have to do this. You've done enough. It's no trouble. I'd like to, really. You seem very quiet. It's just me, I think. Nothing wrong? No. I'm just not very good at this. Um, um, I'm not used to it. It's OK. Excuse me. I get asthma. It's silly. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's embarrassing. No, don't say that. And don't even think it. I know it's hard, I know it's frightening, but you mustn't let guilt come into it. You don't have to get embarrassed for my sake. Look, see that? Needle marks. Diabetes, twice a day. I'm damned if I'm gonna let it embarrass me. So let's have no more excuses, okay? Okay? Yeah. Okay. So how long you been here? Two days. You're leaving already. You must really like it. How about you? Oh, I live here now. I came on a job about five years ago. I'm a news photographer. I usually travel the world taking those pictures that manage to spoil your breakfast. Anyway, I liked it here. It's a lot more civilized than New York. Who do you work for? I was bitter. Freelance. So why were you going to Australia? Kakadu, the Kimberleys, the Rock. And then Jane, the girl I was going with, broke her leg. I don't know anyone in Australia. Don't want to spend four weeks alone. So at least here we can limp around together. You must look aside. So how did you hurt your leg? A car accident or what? Oh, Jane's was. She did hers in Hammersmith. I got mine in Afghanistan. Well, anyway, thank you. As I said, no trouble. No, not just for the ticket. For the walk. And for talking sense about this. Look, if you ever do make it to Australia, I live a long way out, but it's a big house. Guardbridge. Yeah. Thanks. Goodbye. Yeah. Hello? Hi, it's me. Where are you? I'm in a phone box around the corner on Fleet. Listen, uh, I was just wondering if maybe you'd like to go for a drink. A drink? Yeah, you know, a drink. OK, sure, that'd be nice. Great. Uh, downstairs? Yeah, I I'll see you in a minute. OK. Bye. What brought you to London? Family things. I was looking for a relative. Thanks. No luck, huh? No, not really. 
I don't think you wanted to be found. Well, are you sure you looked hard enough? I don't think anyone just disappears. Was it a close relative? I never knew him. Well, what did you know about him that was certain? His name? I know what it was. I'm not sure now. Job? He was a lawyer and a soldier. OK, which army? British. And that's where you start. Everybody leaves clues. So you want to try it? Want to give this theory a shot? I'd love to. But are you sure you've got the time? Yeah, I got time. First thing tomorrow morning. OK. Errol Stanton, Captain. Born Essex Square, commissioned April the 12th, 1939. Another pip in uh, November. Is this the one? What else? Court martial, August 14, 1946. Dishonorable discharge. That's about it. A couple of lines and a card. Hardly does it justice, does it? Does what justice? It was a big thing back then. They were in a Japanese prisoner war camp. Eight chaps had spent a year planning an escape. The night they were going, he informed on them. The Japs beheaded the lot. He must have wished the war would never end. And what happened then, after the court martial? Nothing here. A lot of fellows wanted him shot, I remember that. But I suppose strings were pulled. You know how it is. They always stick together. It was in all the newspapers. August the 14th, 1946. He was my father. I guess it'll be a while then. Yeah. Okay. I'll call you later. I've read all about it. My father grew up in Bangkok, and then he went back there as a soldier. He's living there now, isn't he? That's a pretty long bow to draw. I'm asking you a question, that's all. Is he in Bangkok? You've done the reading. You seem to know everything. Not everything. I do know that he is not as guilty as you believe. He never denied telling the Japanese. I know what happened in the court. I've studied the case. I know the defense backwards. If the Japanese hadn't been told, there would have been reprisals. Dozens of his men might have been killed. Exactly. Everyone said so. No, not everyone. Especially not the court. They rejected that defense. The rules of engagement make it clear. A soldier's duty is to escape. Eight men died trying to do their duty, thanks to him. He is still your brother. You can say anything you like. You can't change that. I've told you before. Hal Stanton no longer exists. Every time I mention his name, you get upset. Why, Mr. Stanton? Just tell me that. Why? Come up. 
coming. Thank you. Oh, this won't take a minute. Miss Stanton, uh, Katrina, I've just come to tell you that you were right. M. Bangkok is a firm of solicitors. The family have dealt with them for years, ever since grandfather was ambassador there. Every month, they forward an allowance to my brother. Exactly where he is, I have no idea. He may not even be in Thailand. But they are the people who can contact him. If he wants to see you, well, that's up to him. I can't do much more than that. Thank you. Uh, th there's just one more thing. If you should ever see him, would you tell him? Uh, tell him that his brother says hello. You were right. I, I do think of him often. But just tell him that, will you? Well, are you leaving us already? No, I'm just trying on a few things. I'm being taken out for dinner tonight. Oh, you've met a young chap. Hmm. Well, good for you. I don't know all that much about clothes. Oh, my daughter knows about that. I'll get her to call you. No, it's not important. Nonsense. She's your cousin. I'm sure she won't mind. Her name is Sarah. Well, at least to me. Down in Bond Street, she's known as Imelda. She was born to shop. It's such a shame you're not going to be here for the weekend. Oh, I'd have loved you to come down to Hampshire with all of us. Mm. Clive's house is gorgeous. Actually, he's gorgeous too. And Jeremy and Tara are brilliant. You'd love Jeremy. He's absolutely obsessed about the outback. He'd talk horses and sheep and cows with you all afternoon. Well, tomorrow you leave. Straight through, or will you stop in Bangkok? I'd like to, but they say that all the flights from Bangkok to Sydney are full. So, I guess I'll just go home. Right to the lawyers from there. You stir at Guard Bridge? That's very good. You remember. I won't forget. You could stay, you know. For a while, maybe. I don't know. Or I could go with you. To Australia? Yeah, I mean, I still want to see the place. I still want to photograph it. But... W what would Jane say about that? Jane's a friend of mine. We work together sometimes. She writes the articles, I take the pictures. It's a professional relationship. The flights, though, they're, they're all full. To Australia and America, maybe. But I bet we can get to India. Then what? Pick up a connecting flight from Bombay. Could we do that? Sure, it might take a couple of days. We could have east of there. You have to see Goa. It's on the Arabian Sea, south of Bombay. I've never seen the falls of the Guasu, so I can't say for sure, but Goa may just be about the most beautiful place on Earth. It's where Portugal meets India. All the world falls in love. Yo. It's open. Hi. Hi. Ready? Yep. Got everything? You checked? I think so. Uh, there's something I have to say to you. 
What? Please don't get upset. No, just tell me. Oh, God. Happy birthday. It's not my birthday. Merry Christmas. <laughs> what? Will you please just take a look at this thing before I make a total, complete, utter fool of myself? Yeah. Okay. Good. interested in photography, so I thought you might like this for the trip. You shouldn't have spent this. Yeah, well, I thought if you wanted, uh, maybe I could teach you if that was okay. And, uh, I mean, I'd like to. That'd be fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. To get it all in, you're gonna have to use this horse. Wow. You should be learning how to do this. I know. Mr. Rogers, welcome. Almost. Regan, aren't you Regan? Oh, yes, of course, Regan. Forgive me. OK, what have you got for me, Myrna? Ah, oh, you're lucky. It's just the one room left. Only one. Damn, I needed two. You want to try somewhere else? It's the best. Magnificent view of the beach. It's beautiful. That's fine, thanks. We'll take it from here. God, I love it here. Have you been here a lot? Yeah, a few times. Have you been here with other girls? Sometimes. Jealous? Yeah. Good. So what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Well, we could go down the beach, take our first swim together. Yeah, we could do that. Or we could go for a walk. Sounds good. Yeah, so maybe... We can go up to the old fort. Oh, it's only four miles uphill. 90 degree heat.
you. You were fast asleep. You should have woken me. You'd have hated it. It's a hell of a climb in the dark. I'll take you up later if you like. So how was it? Well, good for me. I like to dawn light, so I take shots of sunrise wherever I go. One day I'll publish it, dawn across the world. That'll never work. Gotcha. <laughs> Want to head back up the hotel? Hey, Cap? Yeah. Mind if I throw my new lens in your case? No, it's fine. Okay, thanks. Left out or not? Um, I'll leave it in. Okay. What about via Bangkok? Can we go that way? I thought you said you were going to write. Yeah, but Easter's almost over. We might get seats now. Yes, Bombay to Bangkok is possible. We don't want seats to Bangkok. Why not? If we can go that way, it's no trouble, is it? But I hate Bangkok. Look, it'll be the middle of summer. The place has got the worst traffic in the world, air pollution like you wouldn't believe. You got asthma, cat. It is not designed for easy breathing. It'll only be a day or two. I don't mind taking a risk. Is this better? Air India to Bangkok on Wednesday? Yes. Then a Qantas flight the following day. Oh, great. OK. <laughs> but can we book the baggage straight through? We might as well avoid some of the hassle if we're only going to be there for one day. Sorry, change of airline. Afternoon, Carlisle and Carlisle. Hello, my name's Katrina Stanton. Could I speak to Mr. Carlisle, please? Could you hold on a moment, please? Richard Carlisle. Hello, um, I'm ringing about a client of yours, Mr. Hal Stanton. Well, I'm not sure I can help you. What is it you want? Uh, his brother gave me your number. He said you act as his banker. And who exactly am I talking to? My name's Katrina Stanton. Um, Hal Stanton is my father. Um, I'd rather not discuss this on the phone. Do you have my address? Yes, I do. We should be free in an hour if you'd like to come around there. OK. Goodbye. My alcohol. My instructions are clear. They haven't changed in 20 years. I can't give out any information without the express permission of my client. Yes, I know. But you can tell me if he's in Thailand. No, I can't tell you anything. All I can do is to let him know that you called and you want to see him. Beyond that, it's up to him. 
But I told you I'm only here for a day. Well, I can get a quick answer. So we must be close. Not necessarily. Hi, Nanga. Hi. <laughs> Richard. Hello, Bob. You haven't seen Bill Worthington, have you? Saw him last in the uh, reading room. Always reading, that fellow. Best read man I've ever known. Probably right. This is important, isn't it? And I can tell. Yes. The charm's just dripping off you. They've stopped the money, have they? No, the breweries are safe. Oh, they will be pleased. I had a visit today from a girl in Australia. She's quite attractive. How nice for you. She said she was your daughter. Go on. She's using your name, I mean, your real name. The mother was Faulkner, I think. Yes, Catherine Faulkner. They live at a station, whatever that is. A railway station, I suppose. Called Guard Bridge. Was it true? I don't know, possibly. How old is she? 21 next month. The age is right. How could I tell? I mean, Premier Fassley, yes, it's possibly true. What's her name? Trina. Bloody awful name. So what do you want me to do? Do I have a legal obligation? I expect you know more about Australian law than I do. Did she say what she wanted? Just to meet you. You're right, of course. The heat has nothing whatever to do with it. The only drinking problem I have is that I can't get enough of it. They call it an unqualified success. My life, I mean. How? What do I do? You say no, say it's not true. You tell her her mother and I were just acquaintances. Well, you know this sort of thing, Richard. You know what to say. You want me to lie? Yes, I want you to lie. I want you to earn your money for once. I want you to act like my lawyer, not my bloody judge. Tell him that I'm only going to be here for a day. I'm sorry, my client gave me strict instructions. I can't enter into any debate about this. Well, why didn't you tell him that? Stanton, I'm very sorry. That simply has to be the end of the matter. Goodbye. 
idiot. Who, the lawyer or your father? I mean, I don't think I'm asking too much, do you? All I want to do is meet him. Come on, put yourself in his shoes. He hears nothing for 20 years, and then someone rings him up in Bangkok and claims to be his daughter. Wouldn't you be a little suspicious? Mm. I should write to him. No, don't rush it. Wait till you're in Australia. Then you can write the whole thing out. Extracts from the diaries, photocopies, pictures. Make it a real dossier. Yeah, you're right. We should never have come here. Forget it. We'll be on a plane in a couple of hours. No more hassles. We'll be home free. This is your luggage? Uh-huh. Could you please step over to the X-ray machine? Okay. I'll meet you over at the counter. No, both of you, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, that's the lady's camera bag. It's got filming. X-ray won't hurt it. I know, but I've heard that before. Would you mind opening it for the gentleman here? Sure. The camera here has got fast film in it. Try there, and I'll go over to this one. Uh -huh. Hi. Thank you. Are you carrying any gift or parcel on behalf of another person? No. Did you pack your bags yourself? Yes. Have you at any time left your luggage unattended? No. Smoking or non-smoking? Um, I'm with him, so if I could have two seats together in non-smoking, that'd be great. Yes. 19A and 19B? Thank you. Thank you. She's given us 19A and 19B in non-smoking. Can you go down to immigration and join the next queue, and we'll see you down there in a minute. Gate 9. Gate 9. Morning. Good morning. So, you've got 19B non-smoking? Uh, no. If it's okay, can I get a seat in smoking on the aisle? Um, aren't you two traveling together? No, we just met. Are you carrying any parcel or gifts on behalf of another person? No, I am not. Did you pack your bags yourself? Yes, I did. Have you any time leave your luggage unattended? No, I have not. Excuse me, Miss Stanton. 
I'm with the customs police. Can you come with me, please? Ready? Please, come. Oh, just hang around. Well, what's the problem? You must come. Don't worry. Aki? Here, let me take that. What is it? ที่กระเป๋าของคุณใช่ไหมคุณแซนตัน I'm sorry ขอตั๋วพาสปอร์ตคุณให้ผมเถอะ I'm sorry I, I don't understand oh, What's wrong I have a friend he's waiting out there เลขบนตั๋วกับบนกระเป๋านี่เหมือนกันเถอะ I'm sorry I don't understand what you're saying I don't know what's going on here. Neither do I, but we'll work it out, won't we? What's the story? Tom tells you when he got bowed to him. Major wants to know is this your bag? Yes. Yes, it's her bag. Who are you? I'm a friend. Are, are you with the customs? No, I'm with the Australian Federal Police, attached to the Thai government narcotics bureau. Narcotics? That's right, narcotics. Oh. Lovely. Okay, let's get on with it. Open your bag, please. I'm meant to be meeting someone. I've got a plane yes. to catch. You won't be meeting anybody. The only people you'll be meeting are this gentleman and myself. Now, open the bag. Okay. You all right? The bad life. I don't know. Combination. You get that when I get the combination to the bag. <clears throat> combination. Uh, it's four, seven, two. Four, seven, two. Four, seven, two. Ni kong kun zeman. Is that your camera? <coughs> Len. Yes. Is that your lens? Film kun zeman. Are they your films? Yes. Are they your films? Yes. <coughs> ว่าคุณได้มีร่างกายของเธอเลยไว้เกินกว่าร้อยสิบสิบกรัมแล้วนะครับ